time. In the last lecture, we discuss about characteristic of operational amplifier. While discussing the characteristic of operational amplifier, we said that ideally operational amplifier has infinite gain. Now let's take an example and understand what will happen if the gain is infinite. Or let's say practically the gain is very large. So let's say what will happen if the gain is very very large. Now suppose I have a operational amplifier, something like this. And suppose I have applied voltage of let's say 8 millivolts at the input and the gain of this particular amplifier is let's say 10,000. So what will be my output voltage as gain is defined as V out by V in. Then this implies that V out will be equal to gain times V in. So V out will be equal to 10,000 into 8 milli volt so that would be equal to 80 volt this is amazing isn't it even if i have a very small source let's say of 8 milli volt i can apply it over here and i can produce 80 volt so if i apply let's say to this particular amplifier if i apply 25 milli volt i'm going to get an output of 250 volt which I can use for my household purposes. Isn't it? It's an amazing thing. But can this happen? The answer is no, this cannot happen. Why? Because operational amplifier cannot give a very large output. What is the maximum value that an operational amplifier can give? Now here, a principle known as conservation of energy comes to rescue us. The principle of conservation of energy says that energy cannot be created or be destroyed. It can be, however, converted from one form of energy into another form of energy. So while using an amplifier, what we are doing, we are using some form of energy to amplify the signal. So what we are going to do in amplifier is basically this. If I have an amplifier, if I apply some signal over here, input signal, and in order to function it, I need to supply some supply voltage. Then I'm going to get output. So what this amplifier does is that it converts some supply energy, it adds some supply energy to the signal and gives you output. So since it is adding energy from this supply voltage, the maximum output voltage is equal to a supply voltage. For an operational amplifier, we typically use a supply voltage of plus or minus 15 volt. So the output maximum output of an operational amplifier could be plus or minus 15 volt only so if i have an amplifier and if i apply some let's say one volt over here at the output what i'm going to get is either plus 15 volt or minus 15 volt i can get only values between these two voltages if i want to amplify the signal something like this this particular open loop gain amplifier from this example not even can amplify substantially or to a given magnitude this particular 8 millivolt only now for example suppose i am i have something like this inverting terminal is grounded and i have applied some signal like this and the maximum value of this signal is 8 millivolt so it is varying from plus 8 millivolt to minus 8 millivolt and the gain is let's say 10,000 now what will be the output voltage look like so the output voltage will look something like this this is plus 15 volt this is minus 15 volt so it will give me a square lab type signal basically the output is saturating it is not giving me a continuous cycle in order to avoid this particular thing what we need to do we need to control the gain of this amplifier now in order to control the gain of amplifier feedback is used and whenever you use a feedback it is known as closed loop now there are two types of feedback one is known as positive feedback another is known as negative feedback whenever i am using a positive feedback the gain of amplifier increases and whenever i am using a negative feedback the gain of amplifier reduces 
this type of positive feedback are generally used in oscillator circuit and a negative feedback is used for amplifier so let's see what is this particular feedback is so if i have an amplifier so this is an amplifier and this is input and there will be some output signal so what you do you feed some part of output to the input and the circuit which fed some part of output to the input is known as feedback circuit if this feedback circuit feeds the output to input and if the feedback signal is in phase with input signal it is called as positive feedback and if feedback signal is 180 degree out of phase to the input signal this is called as negative feedback so basically what we are going to do is we are going to use this negative feedback in operational amplifier circuit so suppose i have this amplifier circuit i know that if i have applied a signal at a operating terminal then the output will be exactly out of phase by 180 degree so in order to have negative feedback what i can do is that a small part of this input signal i can fade to this resulting terminal and i'm going to get a negative feedback let's take an example now suppose i'm using one millivolt over here and suppose the gain is let's say 10 times 10x gain so the output voltage will be 10 millivolt is negative negative 10 millivolt out of this minus 10 millivolt if i'm feeding 0.2 millivolt then the voltage appearing at this particular non resulting terminal will be 1 millivolt minus 0.2 millivolt and effectively i am only applying 0.8 millivolt and now since the effective input voltage is 0.8 millivolt the output voltage since I, it is having a 10x of gain the output voltage will be only 8 millivolt so i have controlled the gain of this particular amplifier so this is how you can use the negative feedback to control the gain of an amplifier and why do we need to control the gain of an amplifier we need to control the gain of an amplifier just to make sure that the operational amplifier output is not saturating and we get some recognizable signal at the output